Hello, so you want to see how we can realistically light your game? It's quite simple actually, it does not require any scripts and all you have to do is add like some stuff into the lighting section. So first of all, we're gonna add sky, then we're gonna add atmosphere, add sun rays, add a blur effect. I'll add a few more things later, but these are the main things that you want to add. First of all, go to the atmosphere, set it 0.3 or so. You can change the sky if you want. You can go to the toolbox, search up sky box. So I'll just change the sky or sky. I'll set it to this for now. We'll change the blur because it's kind of hurting my eyes right now. You can change the blur and set it to like two or three. So it gives us like blemish type thing almost. It looks zero. It's like everything's completely sharp. If you put on two or three everything's like slightly more smudged together sun rays right for sun rays we can spread it like this intensity keep the intensity a bit low otherwise you'll be blinded but now let's go to lighting Let we want the atmosphere to be a bit darker like move the slider towards the black and if you want it to be like a light type environment then move the slider towards the white area I, I personally like it to be a bit darker, so I'll slide a bit towards the black and brightness. Make the brightness a tiny bit higher, like 2.5 or so. Okay, I changed up a few things over here so that we have a few objects and all to like test our lighting on. So, um, now what we can do is let's, okay, so now let's tweak around with the shadow softness. So, if the shadow softness, if the shadow softness is one, then the shadow is going to be really soft. As simple as that. If it's going to be zero, then it's going to be pretty sharp. Personally, I like to keep it around like two or three, something like that. Yeah, something like that. One of the most important key points here is to change the lighting from shadow map to future. This really changes the lighting. One other thing that we should tweak is exposure i personally like to keep it just like 0 0.05 or 0 0.1 now clock time this is also pretty important for the lighting now if i change the clock time to like 17 then this is how the lighting is going to be it looks like pretty beautiful according to me so now we're done we're basically done with everything now some extra things that we can add depth of field this is like basically like the cherry on top of a cake this like gives depth to everything the further away the thing is the like more blur it gets and the closer way the the closer the thing is like the sharper the object is so we can also change the properties of far intensity right now it's zero but if i keep on going it'll become quite blurred i'll keep it to this much for now focus intensity if we increase it then basically you can't see anything it's all blurred the focus point is is in some like random area then focus in radius like the radius of focus like where near intensity is uh, does basically nothing over here so we're basically done with all of our lighting now so now let's just test this out by by spawning into the game and seeing how it is so okay so my graphic quality is on like full right now just remove this and as you can see the lighting looks pretty good you can see the depth in field coming in play I, I can zoom away from my character and it gets more blurred but as I come closer the blur slowly fades away and like at one point you can clearly see everything and this is the shadow this is the sun so according to me this looks pretty beautiful it, it, it adds a lot of realism to a game and so on